hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this crochet look with a little bit of leave out for only 15 dollars. yes you heard me right 15 dollars. huh who's spending 300 dollars for bundles not me i don't think so so i'm just showing you guys my braiding pattern um i did 10 cornrows going straight back and with each end of the braid i added them to the continuous braid if you know what i mean and then i left some leave out the perimeter of my head and here is the hair that i used it was by the janet collection it was their afro twist braid marley style um in color two and i brought three packs they were each 15 dollars each and i only ended up using two and a half packs so this is how much um comes in each um pack i guess you could say and that is the strand that i was using for each braid now this hair is super big like you do not need a lot of hair at all if you're going to try this style normally rule of thumb is you space about an inch for every new piece of hair you're going to put in your hair for crochet but with this i was spacing like three inches because this hair was just so big and i did not want all that hair in my head um, so this isn't like a tutorial. This is just me showing you guys what the hair looks like and I do plan on wearing this for about Basically as long as I can maybe like three four weeks, maybe if I can even get that far um, And then I'm gonna come back to you guys and show you what it looks like and give you a review now, this is how much uh, one pack of hair fills so as you can see like it's a lot of hair you really do not need that much and this is two packs of hair and i was practically done i only used just a little bit of the second pack and like i said this hair is huge um it's not like obviously it's synthetic hair so obviously it's not going to be you know super curly and intact because the more you separate the hair the frizzier it gets but I kind of like that because it just looks more realistic um, and then right here I'm just showing you the invisible knot method that's just where you just take one piece of hair instead of two and you pull it through the loop like I said this is not a tutorial um, this is just me showing you how I install this hair into my head and this only took me about um, an hour and a half maybe and that's with installing the whole hair and cutting it and shaping it to the style that i wanted so that's pretty good and as you can see the hair that i'm taking out now is my real hair and i left the perimeter out so that i could have leave out just so that it looks more realistic and the color blended so good i was thoroughly surprised so this is when i'm done with um installing all the hair into my head and y'all see what i'm talking about like you see how much hair is in my head right now like what i had to do was i put the hair in like six sections and um with each section i had to spray it with some water as you can see just to make it a little bit softer and then i added some leave-in conditioner to each section as well and that's once again also just to make the hair a little bit softer a little bit more manageable it doesn't really matter what leave-in you use you know i wouldn't say use your best leave-in because it's synthetic hair just use a leave-in conditioner that you have and then i cut the hair a little bit because it was just too long and the longer you have hair especially synthetic hair the more it's gonna knot up so i had to cut it just because it was just it was just way too long and then i just repeated that um throughout my whole entire head and then when i was done i put my hair in about five braids and i added flexi rods at the end as you can see um this was the next day i left those in overnight just so that the hair can sit <laughs> and i put the <laughs> i put those flexi rods in and let me just tell you don't even waste your time doing that because the, the ends of the hair was so straight it looked so stupid that i had to cut more hair the next day because it was like so straight so just braid all the way down i think perm rods would work better but the flexi rods was a no-go so when you're done you just have to oh that's my leave out <laughs> seamless late what who said crochet you know crochet is so good okay if you want to save your money but anyways this was how the hair looked and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.